you are listening to kst podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about india space policy source for the content is ashwarya dabhade's article for the economic times during the 1960s india's space program was seen as a white elephant by many it was a turbulent decade in india's history as the two wars with china and pakistan had drained the country's coffers but within two decades the indian space research organization or isro launched its first experimental satellite vehicle called satellite launch vehicle 3 that is slv3 this made india the sixth nation to launch its own satellite into space then in 1993 isro joined an elite list of six space organizations that have sent an orbiter to the moon In 2017, the Indian Department of Space, that is DOS, released the Draft Space Activities Bill, which set regulations and goals for the private space industry. And after several startups expressed interest in space activities, called for regulations. Three years later, on 26th of June 2020, the government announced that private enterprises would be allowed to participate across all phases of space activities. Then, in June 2022. Principal scientific adviser Ajay Kumar Sood told PTI in an interview that the government was finalizing the space policy 2022 and would unveil it soon. Then in June 2022, principal scientific adviser Ajay Kumar Sood told PTI in an interview that the government was finalizing the space policy 2022 and would unveil it soon. He said and I quote, "We have not tapped the full potential of the sector." In 2022 the space sector is witnessing what the information technology sector experienced in the 1990s we will have our own space acts in the next 2 years unquote the global commercial space sector is worth 360 billion dollars at 7 billion dollars india's share works out to around 2% By boosting private participation in the commercial space sector, the country is looking to substantially increase this to fifty billion dollars or ten percent by the end of the decade. What are in space and ISPA? In 2020, the government announced the formation of the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, that is in space, and the Indian Space Association, that is ISPA. In space will administer the involvement of private players in the Indian space sector giving ISRO time and resources to focus on spatial research and development technology innovation exploration and human space flight ISPA on the other hand will help private players conduct independent space activities and ease services the private sector will use technology developed by ISRO which will also provide regulatory and policy inputs to this sector along with support for startups and space oriented academia now how will private firms improve india's space program apart from space missions isro's resources are occupied with the increasing need for satellite data and imagery for weather agriculture transport and urban development if private firms take charge of the commercial side of the space program isro will be able to use all its resources for research and development interplanetary exploration and strategic launches Sood said that with the opening up of the space sector there could be dedicated satellites for various sectors such as agriculture education disaster management e-commerce applications now companies are jumping at the bit since the opening of the space sector to private players 2 years ago more than 55 startups have registered with isro and the department of space union minister of state of science and technology jitendra singh has said India has more than 100 space tech startups in total. Of the 55 proposals received by ISRO, 29 are satellite related while 10 are for space applications and products, Singh said. Consortiums led by Adani Group and L&T and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited that is Bhale have signed up to build five launch vehicles. Anil Prakash, Director General of Satcom Industry Association of India and Industry Body said the upcoming space policy would define the transfer of technology regulations enabling private startups to use existing isro's infrastructure and build on it this would streamline both costs and deployment time allowing startups to scale he added now some have taken their first steps in june 2022 isro's polar satellite launch vehicle pslv c53 created history by carrying payloads from two private indian space startups to orbit in india's first official public private collaboration in the space sector bengaluru based digantara aerospace and hyderabad headquartered dhruva space recently launched a rocket carrying digantara's robust integrating proton fluence meter and dhruva space's satellite orbital deployer 
on the PSLV C-53 mission. The Gantras Robi is not only the world's first commercial space-based weather system, but also the smallest, the company claimed. Dhruva Space, meanwhile, developed satellite deployment systems that are compatible with ISRO's PSLV launch vehicles, one of the most important aspects of satellite deployment. Now, what are the challenges? Though the government has taken steps to boost private sector participation in space, companies have said the large number of approvals required remains a huge barrier. According to the Indian Brand Equity Foundation, IBEF, in 2017, Hughes a U.S.-based company announced a $500 million satellite communication system in India. To date, the company has not received any approvals or an expected timeline. Another challenge is the lack of clear, specific and streamlined regulations. Now, there is a long way to go. Over the past two decades, private companies such as Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, Blue Origin and Ariane Space have uh, revolutionized the space sector by reducing costs and turnaround times. However, in India, private enterprises are limited to being mere suppliers to the government's space program. Though private startups such as Agnikul Cosmos, Skyroot Aerospace, Pixel and Dhruva Space are all expected to launch their respective missions this year, India is still at a nascent stage in the private space race, well behind other nations. The government and private firms are hoping the space policy 2022 will succeed in bridging this gap. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ in the courses and to crack the eyes exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel.